Everyone has dreams. Yes. You know? yes. My, my, my dreams get crushed every year. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for that reminder. <laughs>
relationship. And that is what makes following Jesus so very special. And so with this series that we're calling Jesus Follower, perhaps the first and most important question is, Derek, what is a Jesus Follower? Uh, first of all, they are... Not a fan. There you go. Uh, so there you go. Shout out, Kato Ottoman. Shout out. Kato. Hit me five dollars later on. <laughs> uh, a Jesus follower is someone uh, who essentially exemplifies uh, five different components. And so these are this is our definition of a Jesus follower. Um, you're going to hear this from Pastor Brad. You're going to hear this from uh, people in, in videos, but uh, in our in our studies. But basically, there's five components, five key aspects uh, to being a Jesus follower. And the first is you love God. You love God with all of your heart, mind, and soul. The second is you love others. And the two greatest commandments, what did Jesus say? He said, love the Lord your God as, uh, with all of your heart, mind, and soul. And he says, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so you love God, you love others. Third, you abide in Christ. Uh, Jesus would say this in John. He would say, I am the vine, you are the branches. Mm -hmm. Abide in me. So you reside, you live, you dwell in Christ, in your identity as a Christ follower. Then you imitate his life, number four. He says, come follow me. Following means you're imitating, you're doing and living and thinking and speaking as the person that you are, you are following. Uh, and then finally, uh, imitate his mission, number five. You imitate his mission. Uh, he says, in the same way as the Father sent me, I am sending you. He would say to his disciples uh, towards the end of his ministry, right before he, he ascended back to heaven, he would say, go and make disciples. Uh, go, make disciples, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded. So he sends them out to imitate his mission. Uh, so you love God, you love others, you abide in Christ, you imitate his life, you imitate his mission. This is how we truly know Christ. And so I just want us all to think about it almost like you're, you're checking your temperature. Like you have a thermometer and, and you check your, your temperature to gauge whether or not you're, you're healthy. Uh, this is kind of like our, our temperature check to gauge the healthiness of, of our followership of following Jesus. And so this week, uh, we're going to see this idea of being a Jesus follower uh, fleshed out a bit uh, in the relationship between Jesus and Peter, which we find in John chapter 21. So we're excited for you to uh, join us on this journey. Uh, we're excited to have some guest speakers who will be jumping in uh, via video to uh, introduce and set up these, uh, these life group lessons for you. We want you to know we're praying for you and your life groups uh, each and every Thursday. And uh, may we all follow Jesus better and not just be fans. Uh, may we follow after Jesus. Uh, would you go ahead and pray with us? Father, uh, we thank you so much for this time. Thank you for these groups. Thank you for the study. Thank you for our, our pastors uh, who are leading uh, our church as a whole through this Jesus Follower Study. We pray that whether it's in high school or middle school, all the way down to, to our kids' ministry here, Father, that we would all come to follow Jesus better, to live out his mission better, uh, to, to honor and glorify you better uh, by not just being fans but being followers. Uh, Father, we pray this all in Jesus' name and everyone said. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, tribe. See ya.